So tell us where we are right now. Right now we are in Kent, Washington at one of our fulfillment centers. Right. Um, it's called BFI4. And in this facility, we receive inventory, we store that inventory, and then we pick and ship the orders out for our customers. And there are lots of robots here. So how, how does this facility differ than the 200 some odd facilities around the country? Yeah. So we actually have over 100 of these type facilities here in the country. And we call these our Amazon robotic facilities because there are a lot of robots. And we'll have an opportunity to show you what some of the robotic robots are doing. So in this facility, we have our associates working along with our robots to fulfill our customers' orders. So what you see there is that's one of our robotic drives. And we have um, thousands of those in the building. And what they're doing is they're carrying a pod that holds inventory. And that inventory is moved to a, an associate who has a responsibility to either put inventory in different locations on the pod or take it out to fulfill orders. So I've always been fascinated by these. Yes. And partially because of the robots, but also because I always wonder, is there going to be a day when the robots are going to actually be able to pick the items out of the boxes themselves? Or do you think that it's our hands are just the dexterity that's required to do it is a human function? Yeah, I've been around robotics for a long time. So I am optimistic that there will be a day that robotics will have the dexterity that's needed to pick items out of the pods. There's so, there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of different items, different sizes, different weights. And so we'll see, but I do think technology will move um, to be able to help take some of those items, many of the items out of the pods. What's it done just, just, just efficiency in terms of pure output? I believe this facility at one point pre-Christmas had brought in over a million separate pieces of product in a day. And that's usually in peak, like during our peak period during Christmas. So there's a million items that are coming in here in a day and a million items being shipped out in a single day. It could happen, yes. It could happen. What, what's a typical day like? So a typical day for, you know, for our employees, they come in. Uh, we do something where we do a startup meeting, where we do a huddle. And that's where we're able to um, do uh, stretches for safety. So safety is a, a priority for us. And so you'll see in the huddle where our associates are doing stretches and bending to get ready for work. And then they'll also learn about what's happening today. Is there anything in particular they need to know about? Are there any communications that the site or the company needs to make? This is one of our working well huddles. And so working well is something that we implemented over two years ago. And its focus is on how do we prevent muscular skeletal injuries and so these are injuries of motions like strains and sprains and so we partner with um, academic researchers right. and athletic trainers to train our associates on the proper body mechanics proper stretching techniques that will help them um, as they're doing the work here um, in the warehouse uh, we have we do these every day and so different associates depending upon their needs um, will do this uh, once twice a day um, they can do this at home, right. and so far we've had over 1.2 million people participate in working well. So tell us what we're seeing right here now. So right now we're also um, we're on a robotic floor, okay. and what you see are uh, our associates are stowing. Right. So they're actually storing inventory into these pots. So this is product that's coming into. Yeah. So you the can see the products are coming into the warehouse. They're in these totes. Um, and then the associates have the pods coming to them that are on the robotic drive units, and they are storing the inventory based on the size of the inventory, different rules. There's actually some technology I'd like to show you here that's using artificial intelligence, uh, intelligence, machine learning, and vision that is helping the associates determine where's the best spot to store the inventory. So there's items. computer vision, there's a camera there. That's it's happening inside of that little computer there. There's a, uh, there's a program that's running, and once he scans it, it knows what the item is, it knows what's already in that pot. So it knows everything that's in that pot when that pot comes to the right. station. And then when he stores the item, it knows the size and the dimensions of that item. It has some idea of how much space is left in the open bins, right. and then it gives them a location to store it at. So this is a great example of technology that we use to 
to help our associates uh, perform their standard work. And for him, this is almost gamified as well, if he wants it to be. Yeah, so we do have some gamified, uh, we do have some gamification. We find that associates that participate in the gamification, um, they have better quality. Um, they seem to enjoy uh, the uh, work. And, uh, and they're also working safely, so um, we think gamification is something that's valuable for our associates. What do you think the biggest misconception is about Amazon warehouses around the country as national debates about employment and labor? I think the biggest misconception is that our warehouses are not safe. And so I will say that with um, clearly saying we have more work to do. Um, however, we have, in 2021 alone, we invested over $300 million in safety improvements. And that's capital investments, that's vehicle technology, there's technology that we've um, shown here, and we continue to make that investment. We're committed to improving the safety within our warehouses. There's a big sign outside that says, we're hiring in this environment. Do you ever say, I don't know where we're going to find enough great employees to do this? Yeah, there were times during the pandemic, just like other employers who were struggling finding people absolutely we spent a lot of time talking about how do we communicate number one that we have these jobs openings available how do we communicate that we have great pay great benefits and there's a number of things you have um you know health care on day one uh we have uh, you know uh, a leave program you have 401k um all of our full-time employees we pay 100% for your college degree. So we're talking about how do we differentiate what we're offering, highlight what we're offering so people know this is what it means to work at Amazon. And so, yes, we spent a lot of time talking about how do we continue to attract people um, as well as retain the people that we have.